Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about getting sales from social media and whether it's just a big waste of time. Sounds good, Paolo. Let's do this. Woo! So, Andrew, how do we get more sales on social media? Well, Pete, just like all the gurus say, to get going, we need to first start by building an audience of potential customers. Huh, okay, it makes sense, makes sense, but it does sound like a lot of effort, pal. Well, yeah, you do have to put in a lot of effort. Like, I've scheduled in our diary every single week time to schedule our helpful social media posts. Look, it's all in our guide. It's all in our guide here that, that, that we've got here. It's our human, organic, and authentic, relationship-building, storytelling, engagement-driven, social, human, interactive, trust-building guide that we've got. It's our social media strategy right there, Pete. Uh, okay, and what does it say we should do exactly? Well, basically it says every day we should like post across social media, we should like get engagement, we should foster relationships, we should do like all this stuff generally just to build our audience. Okay, okay, so, so what you're saying is just doing everything except trying to get sales. Well, yeah, because this is social media, not sales media. <laughs> You know, you've got to put the social in social, like all the kids say. So you mean, like, just never sell? Well, yeah, like, what are you not getting? Like, that's what you do. You're like, social is there to be social. I mean, how many times have we posted something remotely salesy on social media and it just bombs? Like, sales on social never works because it's a place for social, not sales. Like, what are you not getting, Pete? But how are we meant to get business, Andrew? Are we meant to just keep scheduling helpful content every single week just in the hope that one day it pays off and we'll get some sales. Well, yes, like this is what we all do, right? Like we just post solely helpful stuff in the hope to build our audience and one day they'll potentially buy from us. Mm, okay, well, it, it might be what we all do, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily working. In fact, I was speaking to a small business owner the other day and this is what they said. Should I do a funny accent here? Yeah, I was thinking that. I think it's a good place for a funny accent. What accent? <laughs> like old lady chasing after a stray cat. <laughs> yeah, every Sunday I schedule all my posts for the week. And I, I just keep doing all this stuff that everybody says that I need to be doing, but I just feel like I'm not getting anything from it. <laughs> And Andrew, I think this is what people feel like. They're just hitting their heads against a brick wall. Because we're just basing all our business goals on the hope that somebody's going to see our content in the first place and then take the initiative to click on it or go visit our website or magically find our website if it's not on the post and then go and find our sales pages and take the initiative and then contact us proactively and then buy from us. Like, it's just a leap too far. And it just means that we are not in control. We're just waiting around, hoping for the sales that are gonna come in rather than actually being proactive, being in control, and being able to make sales happen on demand. And if we're not in control, if we're just hoping, hoping is not a good business strategy. Show me that guide again, Andrew. I, I just don't trust it. This one? All right, here, yeah, careful, it's a bit heavy. <clears throat> All right, so what we got here, okay, what we got here? We got the, the human, organic and authentic, relationship building, storytelling, engagement driven, social, human, interactive and, and trust building guide. I mean, it's all just buzzwords though, isn't it? It's like, and nowhere does it say anything about actually getting sales. Like, we're just gonna be waiting around forever in the hope that a sale magically lands in our lap, is is that what you want? Well, well, no. Like, I don't want to just be, like, waiting around. But what are we going to do? Like, has anyone, has anyone ever done this? Has anyone ever actually managed to get sales or had success, like, selling through social media? Yeah, lots of people. And, in fact, one person that springs to mind straight away is our, you know, rising star, Nicole Osborne. Ah, Nicole. Yeah, we love Nicole. Yeah, Nicole, she's awesome. Yeah, and she's had a bit of a tough time recently, hasn't she, with lockdown. Like, not only did she lose clients due to the pandemic, but she's just had to start homeschooling as well, which means, like, her time is severely reduced. And it would have been so easy for Nicole just to give up at that point. But she didn't let that stop her, did she, Pete? No, in fact, she bounced right back. 
She needed to fill some of the spots that she lost in her one-to-one -one coaching program at Wonderstars, but she didn't have all the time in the world anymore to create all the content that she usually worked. So she decided to actually cut back on the amount of helpful content that she was creating and instead reallocate her finite time into being more proactive with creating sales with social. And what happened? She nailed it! She absolutely nailed it. In fact, she's got more clients now than she did before lockdown. Not only is Nicole a complete inspiration, well done Nicole, high fives, but also it just goes to show that if you invest more time into being proactive with your sales, then you can start to get more sales through social media. Wow, Pete, you know what? You're right. I don't say that often, but I think, Pete, you are right. Like, if all we're doing is trying to solely build our audience using all the buzzwords and not spending any time on actually trying to convert some of that audience into paying customers, then this social media thing is just not gonna work out. I think I, and maybe some of you guys watching, need to realize that social isn't just about being social and community building and being authentic and being human and all of that great stuff. It's not just about that, right? We're doing this to grow our businesses. And if we wanna grow our businesses, then we do need to be proactive about the sales side of social media marketing as well. But P, okay, next question, Mr. Smarty Pants. How much time do we actually spend then selling in comparison to building our audiences and being human and being authentic and building community? How much time do you actually spend on that sales part? Okay, well, what's worked for us in the past and what's worked for Nicole is to actually spend more time on the sales than on the audience building content. Well, how much more time? Let's say double. Double the amount of time. Oh, double. Yes, double. Okay, so here's a challenge for all you at home. Whatever time that you spend creating helpful, useful, entertaining, audience building content, we want you to spend twice as much time on actually getting sales. For example, if you spend one day a week creating audience building content, spend two days a week on sales. What do I mean by this? I mean doing things like, for example, proactively reaching out and building key relationships with potential customers, getting in front of other people's audiences, creating purposeful content that drives people towards your sales funnels, improve your sales funnels, do proactive reach out, creating sales videos to post, and improving your ads. And this is just the tip of the iceberg on all the things that you can do to start selling more. Right, I really like this idea, Pete, of spending twice as much time actually proactively trying to sell rather than just building our audience, because I think that ensures that our business is constantly moving forward. Like we're actually focusing our efforts on the activities that are gonna have a direct impact on our bottom line. Exactly, pal. So if getting more sales is more important to you than getting more likes, then how you allocate your time needs to reflect those priorities. We're guessing that sales should probably be a priority in your business and thus you should be spending more time and allocating more time to sales, potentially double the amount of time. I love it, Pete. I love it. You know what we should call it? Let's call it the double it rule. Spend twice as much time on actually selling as you are on just building your audience. Love it. Okay, but Pete, like, just thinking about it for a second, like double the amount of time, like double, like my time is already spent on actually creating all this content to begin with. And now you want me to find double the amount of time to sell. Exactly, pal. Maybe what you need to do is ditch the guilt of trying to be everywhere and do too much. Maybe you need to post less frequently. Maybe you need to stop spreading yourself too thin and trying to be on all the platforms and repurpose every little last bit of every single thing and trying to do everything. If you only have three hours a week to do everything, maybe just one hour of that should be the content and the other two hours should be the sales. You know what, you're right. Like thinking about Nicole again, she didn't post as regularly on all the platforms she was posting on, but the time was spent in proactively trying to generate sales. And because of that, her business grew. Exactly, she was proactive with the sales, cut back on the audience building stuff, and she earned more, simple as that. Now this isn't to say that you shouldn't invest time in creating content. Obviously you should, we love creating content. The more, the better. But if sales is your priority, make it a priority with your time allocation. Use the double it rule. So guys, let us know in the comments if you're going to use the double it rule. 
RIP, I am pumped. I'm actually going to write in the comments myself. I feel like this is what we should be doing. We should be spending more time on sales. Pete, let's do this. But wait, like how, how do we do this? How do we do this? Like if we're going to be more proactive with sales, what does that look like? What, what are we actually doing? Good question, Andrew. And if you're watching this thinking the same thing about how do you spend your time wisely, proactively trying to generate sales through content, then you're going to want to watch our exclusive online training. Remember our online training, Andrew? It's all about how to generate more leads and sales through social and content. You can get instant access to this right away at no charge. And inside, you're gonna come away with a foolproof step-by-step -step guide of how to actually double your time, use it wisely, proactively, versus the online audience building stuff. Five actionable pieces of content which you can implement immediately to start getting new business. And the six barriers that you need to overcome if you hate doing sales. So click the link below in the description to go register for that free online training or on that YouTube card over by Pete's head somewhere over there and start rocking your sales and stop wasting time like me on social media. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the double it rule and whether you're going to use it. And until next time, I've been Andrew. I've been Pete. See you next time, guys. Ooh.